hello guys and welcome back in today's class we want to discuss python's logical operators python's logical operators performs boolean expression on a data and returns a boolean result true or false depending on the restatement condition the logical operators in python's are the and operator the or operator and the not operator so we'll take them one after another um, i will start by making three variable assignments a1 is equals to 2 a2 is equals to 3 and a3 is equals to 4 and after which i will write these boolean expressions is a1 strictly less than 3 when i hit enter it evaluated true then is a2 strictly greater than 4 when i hit enter it evaluated false as you can see for yourself there then the last expression is a3 strictly greater than 3 then true so i have true yeah i have two true expressions there and one false expression now how can we you know incorporate the logical operators i will start with the and operator now for the and operator i want to you know kind of change the boolean expressions i will do it this way if i open the first constructor then inside I'll put the first boolean expression a1 less than 3 then I will change it using the AND operator onto the next expression which says um, a2 strictly greater than 4 then when I hit enter it gives me false reason being that the first boolean expression evaluated true as you can see from here the very first one a1 less than 3 but the second one evaluated false as you can see from here so when i chain it using the and operator it gives me fox so what does it mean for the and operator to evaluate true when used then to chain boolean expressions all the expressions involved must evaluate true so let me go ahead and input another one i will open another parenthesis then inside i will say a1 is strictly less than 3 and I'll open another one. I would say a3 is strictly greater than 3. When I hit enter, it evaluates true because the first boolean expression is true and the second one is true. If I make another evaluation here, a3 is strictly greater than 5, of course, this is false. And um, a1 is strictly less than 3, which is true. Okay? So when I hit enter, it still evaluates false. So for it to evaluate true, put the left hand um, boolean expression and the right hand boolean expression must evaluate true. So you can change, you know, change things all along and see maybe this and this and this is still gonna work very fine. Okay, now I will change all the ands to all and see what happens. Of course, you know this one is true. The first one is true. Why the second one is false? Okay. But when I go ahead and hit enter, I see it values true. If I put chain another one, um, I open and close my parenthesis. And when I hit enter, it still gives me true. But remember, these are the same expressions we wrote here. Although this one gives me true at this point, but this one gives me false. When I use the AND operator, but this time it's giving me, it's evaluating true. So for the OR operator, if you can find one truth, boolean expressions then the whole thing is going to evaluate true take for example here i have false true and false so if i chain all of these values this way now you see that the second one this one and this one they're false only this guy is true so when i hit enter it still gives me a truth value cut c of the first one here which evaluates true so finally we'll talk about the not operator now the not operator negates um, the and and the or take for example i will take you back to this point here where i have a1 is less than 3 which is true right so let me just go back again a1 is strictly less than 3 this is a1 here is 2 let me just take you up a little see this is a1 a1 is equal to 2 then when i said a1 is strictly less than 3 and i hit enter it gives me true but if i write this expression not a1 strictly less than 3 this not here negates the expression so if the expression is true the not here is going to make it fox so if i hit enter it gives me fox so what is this saying yes i know this expression is true but i'm using this not operator to negate whichever value it gives me initially so it gives me true 
the negative now is what false now let's check this one this one that says um a2 is strictly greater than for which evaluates false so here i would say not a2 is strictly greater than 4 this time it gives me true but initially it was a false value here okay so the not operator simply negates the boolean expression you know it's as simple as that take for example the whole of this evaluates false permit me to copy this Ctrl C on my keyboard then down here I will reference the not operator then in a parenthesis I will paste whichever value I have in my clipboard so, so if I go ahead and hit enter it gives me true because I'm saying not false definitely means true okay just take your time and go through these three operators the and the all and the not operator they are the three logical operators we have in python don't forget to drop your comments if you got confused at any point for we are always here to respond to your comments thank you for joining us today's class and bye for now